So we're off to the second attraction of today. We've already done the Aura Sky Pool. We are now off to the Dubai Frame, and it's a 40 minute walk from the Metro. In and the, in the current temperature is 40 one degrees that's why i got my hat on for not to look cool but to basically keep the sun off me neck because it's absolutely boiling it's ridiculous we still enjoy it though we, we still enjoy it though we are yeah. loving it aren't we? oh god yeah especially if next next week when we're gonna go back to newcastle it will be probably so cold as always so we're just enjoying this heat while it lasts we're going to cut through the park obviously we've got no idea what the park looks like but on the map it looks phenomenal so we will uh we will video more in the park. So we had online tickets, we just scanned to come through to see the Dubai frame. And if you can see across the top there, there is a glass walkway. And uh, the thing I'm looking forward to is walking across that glass walkway um, I'll be honest, I'm going to be absolutely pooping myself. Um, hopefully when Natalia walks across it, the glass won't crack and she'll fall through to her doom. I Fingers crossed. But yeah, Natalia's very wet, aren't you? Yeah, like literally she is water. soaking wet. Yeah, I am. So yeah, lucky me. See you in there. So that's the Dubai frame done. How did you find it, Natalia? Amazing, as everything here. For the price of £12, which is what we paid for a ticket. £12 again, per person. £12 per person. So again, if you're in Dubai, it is a must to go and see this massive building because it is well worth the £12 that we paid. But guess what we're doing now? We are off to all Dubai to do some shopping and just see what it used to look like. See you in all Dubai. So we decided to head to all Dubai. Um, unfortunately, when we got off the metro, we took the wrong turn. And I'll be honest, we've been walking around for the last two hours searching for all Dubai. We are absolutely sweating and shattered. It is so hot. But a good thing is we found all Dubai which is just here behind us. So we're gonna go in there and see what it's all about. I hope this two hours of being lost in Dubai was worth it. I just need some food. Bless her. So this is all Dubai. We've eventually made it here. Lots of uh, cloth markets and you've got the beautiful marina to the side. Lots of these traditional old fishing buildings. And of course, obviously, the traditional and famous markets. 12 a.m. Sorry, I was just reading the sign here. It's open till midnight. Look at the old style boats for boat trips. Love to go on one, but it seems very empty. And I think the reason why it's so empty for us because at the minute it's too hot. Um, it's from next month, really, when tourists start coming between. Uh, October and April, that's when it's at its busiest times. All the traditional outfits. Obviously lots of traditional perfumes. Not entirely sure what this thing is, but behind it looks like a makeshift barbell. That definitely looks like some sort of barbell. Um, pretty little lights above us. 
so hot we decided to get an ice cream. What flavour you got in Italian? Caramel one. Caramel. One super caramel for me. For me, lemon and raspberry. Thank you very much. How much is it? I will make her more pretty. <laughs> she looks beautiful. Oh, but I will make her amazing. more beauty. Wow, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will be eating That's what you want? Okay. Can you mm -hmm. Yeah, I put like this. It's perfect. <laughs> now she looks like she looks beautiful. pretty girl. Perfect, perfect. You know that safari style. When you go to safari, we're going to go safari. You go to safari. Most you use and enjoy a lot of fun. Oh, we are. Also, I have magic for you. For me? Yeah. <laughs> when you go to safari, you will use and enjoy a lot of fun. Ooh. You have nice phone, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can take picture for memory, you know. Then uh, after a few years, when you go back to your country, then you will be miss your uh, good time, you know. Thank you. You look really cool. Then, uh, I will take both of your pictures, okay? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look. Look. You look actually look really cool. Yeah. Okay. So, pose. Yeah. Pose. Pose. Want to try this one, Good. sir? <laughs> Wise one? No. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I like this, though. I'll yeah. take this. Uh, I'll take this. Now you take your picture together, okay? So that was old Dubai. Very short-lived because, uh, to be honest, it was ruined a little bit because you cannot walk five yards without somebody trying to grab you and pull you into the shop to sell you something. Now, off camera, that lovely gentleman who was trying to put that headscarf on us, he was a very nice guy. But of course he was using typical sales tactics. Once he got that headscarf on us both, he wanted to charge us, how much is it? He started from 550, 550. Oh yeah, he started from 550 Durham, which is about how much? Over 120 pound for a headscarf. And I was like, no. And he would not let he us go. Oh, he tried to barter and haggle. But the thing is, he actually wouldn't let her go. So in the end, I was quite abrupt. And I was like, please, just respect us. We want to walk away and we want to enjoy Dubai without being hassled. And then he let her go. So to be honest, we've just left old Dubai because it's ruined it. As much as we love Dubai, old Dubai, I'm just going to say, if you are going to go there, be careful because they will try to get every penny out of you they will try to put jewelry on you headscarves on you stick perfume on you and try and charge you for it so it's a beautiful place just be careful but it's not just that it's not just that you can literally just walk and look around that's what we wanted to do we just wanted to look around yeah buy some some souvenirs but you can walk because obviously everywhere where you walk and people are trying to stop you and they don't want to let you to go. And you do feel actually quite intimidated. When you're in the new part of Dubai, you feel so safe, secure, you tread like royalty, but to be honest, down the old part there, yeah, I was, get, I, I was getting a little bit anxious to be honest. So just if you're going to visit the old part of Dubai, just be careful. Watch out for the scammers. Well, we did have ice cream. Oh yeah, we did get ice cream. And of course, Natalia misheard the guy. He said 16 dirham, which is fair enough. And she said, take 70 when she paid by card. Because we always leave a tip and I thought he said 60. He was, said so. 16, one well, six. Well, he got 10 pounds uh, tip. Then Natalia gave him 70. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Expensive. we're walking uh, back. Scoop of ice cream. To be honest, the day has been a bit of a disaster. We got lost. We walked around for two hours. <laughs> and when we eventually found the place, it was a nightmare. But it was amazing in general, yeah? Obviously, in the morning, we went to the Arab uh, Sky uh, Pool. We went to uh, Dubai Frame. Just the old. That was perfect. Bit, uh, Stick to the new place. It's safer.